My name is Yongwon Kim. I work in the International Arctic Research Center, University of Alaska, Fairbanks. So my position is the research assistant professor. So I introduce this area. So you can see that this area is the typical black spruce forest. Black spruce is very important to the atmospheric and the carbon dioxide sink reservoir. But you know, in the in summer season, a lot of lightning in here. So at that time, the lots of the wildfire occurred in this area. At that time, a lot of the carbon dioxide released to the atmosphere. So CO2 is a very important greenhouse gas. So that is a major greenhouse gas. You know, and the water vapor is the most number one greenhouse gas. The other one is the carbon dioxide. So that is the. And uh, one is a natural source, the other one is the artificial source. Artificial source is came from, the, uh, you know, for the burning of the conversion of the fossil fuel, fossil fuel. And then the other one is a natural source is we don't know exactly. So and then a lot of uh, the scientists and uh, concentrate the how much it leads to the natural condition that such as this forest. So this area is the very important carbon, atmospheric carbon dioxide syncretism. And then how much the release to the, the soil organic carbon. The soil organic carbon decomposed rate is very slow. Vegetation is very important because the, that is how much the accumulated on the ground level. So one, one is uh, sphagnum moss that has the lots of uh, contains the water. So and then the other thing is the the feather moss and then the other thing is the lichen and the last one is the tasso tasso tundra my colleague you build up the, the tower system tower is the you know and the black spruce the canopy and the atmospheric interaction how much it changes the, the co2 so and then they captured the, that so my portion is to measure the, the on the ground level and then just uh, you know uh, above uh, the atmosphere so and then how much the release to the soil and the soil component my automatic chamber system consists of uh, and the uh, NDBI that is a non district and uh, infrared radiation CO2 analysis that is a commercial commercial uh, CO2 analyze and then the other one is you can see it's just a little noise it's a pump Pump is uh, working the, the 24 hours and then a week every time is the, that is uh, and uh, suck the, the air from the chamber. So and the, the other thing is uh, accumulated the, the data in the data row that also the commercial and the purchase. So and then my system is 16 chambers and then and the pump so uh, to analyze data row. I set up that system so each vegetation has the, the carbon content is different so especially soil organic carbon is different so usually the, the, the soil chamber system is open the leather is open and the that is the and then release to the, the interaction of the, the air but and then target chamber is the uh, the chamber is closed. The target and the CO2 is released, accumulated in the inside the chamber. That is the we have the five minutes the chamber uh, inside the chamber CO2 uh, concentration. So and then that is accumulated that we calculated the gradient. So we change the the, the exact how 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 much how day how area release to the CO2 so and then we calculated that that system most people use the, the dynamic chamber just the one time set up and the collect the data at sample and the back to the lab and then analysis the data but that is just the, you know one day is just the snapshot but this automatic chamber system is uh, I showed the daily variance of the CO2 flux so as well as the daily and the monthly and as well as the annual so i can calculate the how much the release to the atmosphere co2 
from uh, from uh, to the and uh, atmosphere. My my hope is the uh, to predict the near future how much the changes the, the in this area. So at that time, the, how much release to the carbon dioxide from the soil? So we don't know. And then I need the more measurement, long-term measurement of uh, soil soil respiration data.